Hey guys, and welcome back to another Tech Guru video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to organize and create playlists on your YouTube channel that will make your viewers essentially stick to your ecosystem, make them wanna subscribe to your channel and let them stay longer on your channel and watch more videos. In turn, will help you with your viewer retention. So if this is something you wanna learn how to do, stick around. All right, guys, when we're talking about playlists, when we're looking at my channel here, you can see right here, I have this opening section here that shows me what it will look like for returning subscribers. And then if I click this tab, it'll show me what it will look like for new visitors who are not subscribed yet, okay? In order to edit this section of our YouTube channel, basically all we have to do is click the pencil icon here and it will let us know, hey, this is our feature content. What do you want it to show? I have mine showing my latest upload. You can have it show your latest activity if you want. If you're a creator, I would do the latest upload. This is just the most convenient thing to show what what you're uploading recently so they know, hey, they are uploading frequently and they're not someone who's going to upload once every other month and I'm going to subscribe to their channel. And again, that's talking about something else like consistency and we'll talk about that in another video. So go ahead and set up your featured content here. And then as you can see here, my next playlist is going to be my uploads. Now you can organize yours any way you want, but what I have gained knowledge of over the past year is that Organizing your playlist are very important when it comes to keeping an audience retention rate that you want to have with your YouTube channel so that way YouTube will rank your videos higher. Always put a video in a playlist. So I'll show you how to do that now within your video manager. As you can see here, we're in our video manager and I am editing one of my videos. If you go on over to the right hand side, scroll down a little bit underneath where the video and the thumbnail are, you go right here to where it says playlist. It'll be a little drop down menu that says add to playlist. You'll be able to select from whatever playlist that you've created previously, or if we scroll down even more, you can create a new playlist. So that's how you add a video to a playlist. Now we're back to my homepage and I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and show you what I have found to work for me. Again, you can organize yours any way you want. The first playlist I have in a vertical row, I'm sorry, in a horizontal row is my uploads. If I click the pencil icon here, again, I can edit this and change this to a specific playlist. I can change this to a live now button. I can change it to multiple playlists, but I'm going to leave my first one to be my uploads and then I, the layout's going to be horizontal row. Now, what's the difference in a horizontal row and a vertical list. Here's a horizontal row, basically straight across. And then if we scroll down, the next one are going to be a list of my different playlists, okay? And this right here, if we go to edit, it's going to show you it's in a vertical list. So that way it's going to be up and down and you can see six different options here. So what I found to work is to alternate between the vertical row, I'm sorry, the horizontal row and the vertical list. So as you can see here, I have horizontal, then vertical, and I go here, I go horizontal and then vertical. Now, when you do a horizontal row, you're going to have five Five videos, that's going to be the five most recent videos in that playlist. When you go to the vertical list, you're going to see six videos that are the six most recent videos within that playlist. Now, if I go here and click the pencil icon here, I can go over here and change that playlist. So you can change it up. You don't always have to leave it the same. What I do is maybe it's a time of year when specific videos will be more relevant. Say Christmas, if you're a crafting channel or whatever that may be, you may want your Christmas playlist to show up first on your channel. So that way the content is becoming more relevant to your your viewers. So you can always go in, click that pencil icon, and then select the playlist here by going to choose a playlist. As you can see, the content will always be a single playlist if that's what you're wanting to do, and then change the layout to either horizontal or vertical, and then select that playlist by either going to my playlist, or you can copy and paste the playlist URL and then paste that there. So we'll go ahead and leave this one to be my YouTube tutorial playlist. So basically now when I save that, you're going to see this is my tutorials all related to YouTube all of those videos are going to be in one section. Now, if the viewer is here on your channel, they can actually go down to the show more option and it'll show them the whole list of videos that you have within that specific playlist. Now, another thing that I wanna show you is this. Beside the pencil here, where your playlists are, you're going to see an up and down arrow. If I select that up arrow, it's going to move that playlist up. So not only can you edit what playlist you want to show within your channel, you can also go ahead and move them up and down depending on what you're seeing as far as 
what playlists are performing better than others. Now let's talk a little bit about why we want to have playlists on our YouTube channel. Let's say someone is searching how to do something on YouTube and they find one of my videos like how to uh, set up my channel for YouTube monetization. How do I make money on YouTube? But they're also going to want to know how do I create a profile image? How do I create custom thumbnails? They can find all of that in a one-stop shop right here in my YouTube tutorial playlist. So again, it's very important that when you're setting up your channel that you have it laid out very nicely for your viewers. You want them to be able to access your videos as easily as possible. You don't want them having to search the internet far and wide to find other videos related to the video they searched for. You want them to be able to stay in your ecosystem as long as possible. If you have any questions about playlist, put those down below in the comment section. I will get to those as quickly as I possibly can. If you're a new YouTuber or wanting to improve your YouTube channel, I'll have a link down below. I have a YouTube creators podcast that I interview YouTube creators and I ask them what are they doing to create a successful business on YouTube. So go check that out as well. And as always, guys, don't forget to like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel for more great content just like this, and I will see you guys in the next one.